Golfers, Mace here with your golf tips of the week. We promise to do these throughout the winter and once the weather gets nice we're going to take it outside and do some more tips outside too. As we go through this we're going to try to simplify this as much as we can. Uh, we, I'm a big believer in the start position which is how you hold the club, how you stand or address the golf ball and how you aim. If those three things we can get within reason nine out of ten times, then you have a chance of returning the club head back to the golf ball in a more consistent pattern. So today we're going to actually kind of have some fun and kind of talk about some of the fallacies that maybe your loved ones or fellow golfers keep telling to you each time you go out and play golf. So let's start out with a couple of these and kind of explain them as we go through. I'm going to start out with you top the golf ball and immediately your spouse says, honey, you didn't keep your head down. So you go ahead and get in that position, you get the head down, and you swing, and you whiff it. Now you look at your spouse and say, what did I do that time? Well, honey, you didn't keep your left arm straight. Okay, so you go ahead and stay, you keep the head down, you get the left arm straight, and now you try to swing. You whiff it or don't hit a very good shot again. Your spouse very lovingly says, honey, I'm sorry, but you didn't keep your knees bent. So you get in that same position, you get the chin down, you get that left arm straight, and you really get some knee flex in there. You swing, and you whiff it again. Now what I do, honey? Well, honey, maybe you just, you just stood up or your grip was too tight. So you go ahead and get set in there, you get the chin down, you get the left arm straight, you get a lot of knee bend, and you swing through and you whiff it again. That's got to be it, honey. You aren't keeping your eye on the golf ball. Great! I got this figured out then, honey. So you go ahead and put your chin down because your head came up. Keep an eye on the golf ball. You get that left arm straight. Get a lot of knee bend and you turn and swing and you still whiff it. You look at your honey and you say, honey, what am I doing now? Well, he just comes up with some other idea. Instead, why don't you come to us? We'll try to help you out through this. So keep an eye on this. If I keep my head down too much, and I keep that left arm straight, and I got a lot of knee bend, and I keep my eye on the golf ball, how am I supposed to swing from this position? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I feel pretty tense. My legs are firing, my arms are getting tired, and now I'm standing over this golf ball, and I'm just hoping it goes without me. And as I swing, it goes nowhere again. So let's address the first one keeping your head down. That's great to a point, but however, if you keep your head down too much as you swing, it's hard to get a good shoulder turn. So you need to have your chin up so that as you turn, your shoulder can slide underneath your chin and get a fuller shoulder turn, which then allows you to hit the golf ball farther. Left arm straight. Oh, that's one of the ones that drives me nuts. I can actually hit golf shots with my arm in this fashion, but as I swing, the weight of this club then lengthens my arm out, and there's my straight left arm, isn't it? But again, if I've got this tension here, as we will talk about in later tips, hard to hit shots from this position. Doesn't look very athletic, does it? Another one is knees are bent. We'll talk about that in our posture segment. Knees are bent, and I'm going to tell you right now again, my legs are firing right now. So what do I want to do naturally? Raise up, isn't it? Well, to get back in that absolute same position again, I got to be one of the best athletes in the world. For so, for some of you to actually be able to do this and hit a golf shot at all, you are amazing athletes. We want to get you set up so that you start in this position because if I'm in here, my legs are firing, and I go ahead and stand up, I might as well start there. So let's start you taller so that as you swing, hopefully then you can deliver the golf ball square back to the bottom of your arc. Keeping your eyes down. I mean, I can hit golf shots looking you right in the eye just like this. Because if I start in this position and I swing my arc, you can hear it. I'm hitting the ground and I'm looking you right in the eye. I can hit this 8 iron about 120 yards just like normal. Because as long as I start in this position, turn away and return to it, it doesn't matter whether I'm looking at How can a blind golfer play? They can't keep their eye on the golf ball, can they? So again, those are all some fallacies that we will cover in the coming weeks 
again, grip, how to stand or address the golf ball, and how to aim. And then that way, hopefully, you'll take a look at these videotapes. You can turn around to your spouse or your friend and say, you know what? Not that I don't love you, but I'm going to listen to my PGA golf professional because he or she knows what they're talking about, and they will help me with my golf game. I will play better golf. I will love to play with you in couples golf, and you will get to play more golf. So let me go see my PJ golf professional, watch the tips, and then we'll have much more fun at the Waverly Golf Course. So with that, enjoy the golf tips this winter. If you have any questions, got all the information down below, just email me, call me. Or again, if you want to go on our YouTube, go ahead and set a comment on that. Again, thank you for your interest, and we will see you at the golf course.